All right, I'm cutting off the questions. I have over 65 right now. It's been four or five days. I thought I'd give everyone a week. I didn't expect to get this many questions. So I'm going to be, I have my laptop over here. I'm gonna be answering every question you have, every single one, starting from first come, first serve. So here goes. I'll put them up. I'll try to put a little snippet of the question on the screen as well. So you can see exactly who asked it and you can see your question and answer as well. First one. Hey Bassam, could you do a video tutorial about options from the fundamental principles? And then Stefano Lucini asked, even after what to do for the taxes. So I do have an intro to options series that I started. I have around five videos. I will, I do need to continue. I have about five more videos to go, but I will include a link and I'll respond to you as well. Next question. Make money Ragav, he has two questions actually. How long did it take for you to get monetized on YouTube? It took around seven months and then the application process and trying to get in. But you know, some people takes longer, some people shorter. What can you do? What is your current job besides YouTube? And we have a reply. I believe he's a CPA and part-time real estate agent. Exactly. Yeah. I'm a full-time accountant and then a part-time realtor trying to switch those around. Ethan asks, in your opinion, what is the first thing a brand new investor should look into? The, this is a loaded question. I don't know. Um, first of all, before you invest, you need to have a savings. So have a six month emergency plan. To be honest, like if you at the beginning of COVID, if you had a six months, it's probably run out by now. I wouldn't tell anyone to have a year's worth of cash. But if you have a six month emergency plan, I would um, hmm, I would start to, you know, it, it all depends on risk, how much risk you want to take. What, what should a first thing a brand new investor look into? I would start off with ETFs. Try to get a global ETF like VEQT, which owns like the entire stock, or you have VSP, which is the S&P 500. If you want to go specific company, I would look for cash flow, cash flow from operations. Can they, does their normal cash flow make money? Because that, that's a big indicator. Okay, Wayne W., what is your favorite book? I have a series of favorite books. I'll include a snippet of all of them. It is called Malazan Book of the Fallen. It is like Lord of the Rings times three times four. It is 10 books, 10,000 pages total. Probably my favorite series of all time. They're so good. There's 10 books, like a thousand pages each. They're so good. I want to read them, do a reread. All right, Balpreet BP, how old are you? I may or may not be 30. Akash. My friend, be honest about the houses. How can a 20 year old buy a house? Okay, Akash, I wasn't 20 when I bought a house. I was 22. And it's, if you think of a 22 year old buying a house now, it is pretty difficult. But if you think about when I bought like 10 years ago or eight years ago, houses were a little different, a little cheaper. And I bought in the suburbs of the GTA. My first house was around $300,000 and you only need to put 5% down. You think about 5% of 300,000. I got my first job as an accountant. I was able to save that 15,000 pretty easily. And I still lived with my parents. So that's like another nuance. If you live alone, you know, there's a lot you're spending on rent and all that other stuff, food, insurance, car. But I, I live with my parents. So I do have a little bit of an advantage. Next question, Jesse, opportunity cost investing. Guys, go check him out. He's the one that it gets me nervous every time I try to release my, my income or my returns. I know he double checks all the YouTubers and keeps them honest. So I have to like triple check because I know he's going to watch. Video and sound quality are on another level. Thanks. I want to say congrats ahead of time. Let's go with one of my favorite ones to ask. What was your favorite video to make so far and why? It was probably the Canadian housing market in the 2020 crash. It was one of my first videos I made. It was in March, right before the, everything shut down, all the pandemic. That video has around 50,000 views now. It kind of went viral in quotes. Um, I liked making that. I loved, my favorite part was the comments. I got over 400 comments and they're all negative. Everyone telling me I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm a shill. My favorite thing ever is I went back to the comments a few months later and I wrote oops. And like, um, I was kind of trolling everyone because I'm in the weeds. Like I'm the one selling all the houses, buying houses for my clients, everyone waiting on the sidelines or everyone watching YouTube and commenting. They didn't really know what was going on in the market. They thought everyone was, was broke and no one's going to be buying and houses will crash. But everyone started reaching out to me. 2020 was my best year for sales. Everyone who has been waiting on the sideline for a small correction, they jumped in, they took advantage. So I loved reading the comments on that and everyone telling me I'm a shill and I'm wrong. Oops. Hanadi Hassan. Hey Basim, can you please explain in detail how to trade options? Hanadi, if you 
obviously it's going to take a lot of work. I can't explain, but I do have an intro series that goes with the very basics. And then if you watch my live trading series, I'm starting to go more through the thought process. So my trading series, number 10 to number 20, I, I stopped explaining it like thoroughly and people called me out and say, can you explain for beginners? So more recently, I started explaining every single thing in every video, just making it very basic. So please, it does take some time. It takes a lot of research. Um, just bear with me, watch some of those videos and you'll hopefully, hopefully get the hang of it. Even reach out to any trades you want to do and I'll help you with them. Is it a good idea to borrow to maximize my TFSA, say 50K? I'm going to say yes, if you're okay with that risk. If you can borrow $50,000 at like 3%, 3.5%, you can get some great returns from banks or dividend paying stocks or even growth stocks. The issue is if you, if you don't have a dividend payer, you'll have to sell to pay back your interest every now and then. But I, I do say it's a good idea. I would, I would do it. Anissa Ha. Why don't you talk about FIRE, financial independence, retire early? She has a double question. When do you actually plan to retire? Okay, so my retirement age is 55. At 55, pencils down, game over, see you later. Um, back to FIRE, I'm not interested in the FIRE community. I don't like it. I feel like it's very deceiving. A lot of people who post that they're financially independent, they retired early, they have courses, they're doing three YouTube videos a week. They have, um, I don't know, they're teaching seminars, they're releasing a book. It is very deceiving. I think people mistake fire with being an entrepreneur. You quit your job, yeah, but did you really retire? I don't think I can ever fully retire. I wanna go from full-time to part-time. Financial independence also kind of screams frugality. I'm not frugal. Like, I don't think you can find a video where I'm telling you to stop spending. Like, I do like spending every now and then. I, I do believe that you should spend on experiences, not things. So I stopped spending a lot on clothes and I do spend a lot on vacations. Ludwig Romero, shout out to Ludwig. How do you recommend someone starting investing in the stock market with an initial investment of say $5,000? Um, how do you recommend someone? Hmm. I would go with ETFs with something that's small. You don't have much room to take risks. So I would go diversified ETFs um, like VSP or VFV. Or, okay, I guess if, if, if you're in the US watching this, start with VU or SPY. And then anything above five or let's say $10,000, you can choose individual stocks to, that are a little more risky, like Square, that's a good growth stock. You could choose Teladoc if you want. Min Viet, can you please make a video explain your real estate investment strategy? I will, I will make a video. Um, right now, what I do, I just buy and hold. I don't renovate and flip houses. It's too much work. I don't have the expertise. I'm just not interested. Jeffrey Fu, shout out to Jeff. I love the new setup. Thanks. That's not a question. Kaveen, can you make a video of what dividend stocks to get to have a reliable portfolio while having the capital appreciation with 3000? Let me keep that in the back of my mind. I will try to make a dividend stock video, even though if you watch some of my other dividend videos like my portfolio updates, those, those stocks have been making me 5.5%. 5, 5 so if you're interested, watch my dividend release videos, my dividend updates. All good, one of my biggest supporters, congrats on 5,000. How do you deal with the loss in any of your positions in your portfolio, emotionally and financially? Uh, um, emotionally and mentally. Um, I take it pretty hard, I'm an emotional investor. How do I deal with the loss? Um, I don't wanna tilt. As they say, is try to make it back. I, you know, I, I stop trading for that day. I take the loss and I kind of move on. It does suck to see yourself losing money, but I'm winning most of the time. So I have to stop being a baby and just accept the loss. Okay. <laughs> Solopreneur. Uh, hey, I have a question. I follow all these trades on Wall Street Bets, but I haven't unlocked the green mode on Robinhood. They recommended I buy zero date to expiration, spy 600 calls every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What am I doing wrong? Just kidding. Thanks for the troll question. Not answering that. Ed Furtado, can you recommend an option strategy for small accounts? I would say do covered calls. That is the basic, that is the best for small accounts. What you can do is buy 100 shares of a stock, make sure it has options, and then sell covered calls against it. You'll slowly build up your account. Kyle Brooks with a triple question. I'll start with the, the, uh, the easiest one. Did you learn to invest from books? If so, which ones? I didn't actually, Kyle. I learned to invest from university pretty much. In accounting, you have to take finance. And my finance professor um, 
kind of told us what to invest in. I was in university during the 2008, 2009 crash, and he said that was the best time to get in. He kind of taught us everything. Um, what like books I do recommend is Rich Dad, Poor Dad from, I believe is Kiyosaki. There's The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. And then The Millionaire Next Door. I forgot, I forgot the author of The Millionaire Next Door, but those are three good books for beginners. Is there any chance you would mentor a young investor, at least start a Patreon? I'm in, I'm afraid of mentoring young investors, the, of mentoring anyone. I'm afraid to take money to tell people what to do because I like risk. I take a lot of risk and it works in periods of like a bull runs. But if we have another March 2020 crash or a bear run, I lost money and then I don't want to cause everyone else to lose money too. Like I'm afraid, I love helping people. I'm afraid to actually ask for money to help people financially. I'm not sure. I didn't want to do it, but then people keep asking for a Patreon and like a Discord for signals. And I'm, I don't know, I have to look into it. I am pretty scared of that idea, but we'll see. Would you consider making a video on the types of ETFs to purchase in your RSP? I understand it is wise for the largest holding to be VU, but I'm not sure. Maybe more other ET, maybe more US market ETFs like VQQ. I love the channel. Thanks, Kyle. I like this guy. Would you consider, okay, I, I do need to make another video about the US types of uh, ETFs to hold in your RSP and your TFSA. You are right that VU and SPY is the best in your RSP because you get the tax credits, you don't get the withholding tax. But let me answer you directly further because like I have like a long, I, I need to do some research and write a long paragraph, but I will probably make a video. Dave, do you have any Canadian growth stock recommendations? Currently, most of my growth growth are in the US stocks other than Afria, Valens, Grow, and HU Innovations. Was considering big telehealth boom, but not sure if they're overvalued right now. Thanks for the vids. Dave, my growth stock recommendations would be Docebo, Well Health, and CloudMD. Those are in the telehealth industry. It's not, they're, I don't think they're overvalued right now because they're just getting started. Like CloudMD, is, it's only $2 a share. My personal target is $5. I see some people saying they're not selling for under 20. I have 2,000 shares of CloudMD. I'm, I'm all in, I'm all in. Like that, that's my Canadian growth stock pick. Do a desk setup tour. Okay, I'll do it. Right now, everything's a mess. This is not staged. Sorry guys. Vladimir Putin, how would you change the education system? How would I change the education system? Education system? Um, I would turn A's into 90 plus and I turn B's into 80 plus. I don't like when people say they got an A, but they got an 80. So why is A plus 90 to 100 when A is 80 to 90? I don't like it. A B plus is only like 77, 78, 79. I feel like we're lying to ourselves. We're coddling our kids by saying you're getting straight A's if you're getting 80s. An 80 is a B and 90 is an A. Yes, I would also, what else I would change? I'd make it more on understanding, less on more on understanding, less on memorizing. Right now, our education system teaches us, teaches us how to memorize, but we don't really understand what we're memorizing. There's that. Favorite pizza topping, Stefano Lucchini. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Also, favorite restaurant in Toronto, mine is Lo Stelvio. I don't have a favorite restaurant. Like I like 10 or 20 different places. The, I don't know, man, like sometimes when I want a steak, like Harbor 60 is the best, but it's like $100 a steak. Man, there's so many things. If I want a burger, there's a place called Local in Liberty Village. I really like it. I'm, I'm all over the place. Favorite pizza topping? Chicken. I hope that doesn't offend you. <sighs> okay, m and &M heating and cooling. Consider buying ZWC for my dividend portfolio, but discouraged by overall growth. Would you recommend this ETF? m and let me do some research. I'll get back to you. I don't know what it is off the top of my head because I have a lot of ETFs in my mind. I'll, I'm sorry I'm not answering you in this video, but I'll get back to you. Mr. Finance, awesome video. Thank you. Pushpa R. Hey, Basim, do you plan to share your option strategies every morning live? Can you also let me know what strategy to choose for a TFSA account? As I heard, only covered calls are available for the registered accounts. Please guide how to trade and what stocks in this method are good in the TFSA account. Okay, I will. I will release a video on it. My, right now, if you're watching, my personal recommendation is covered calls, in the money covered calls. It indirectly mimics a cash secured put. I'll go over that in another video. Crispy Assassin, 1597, you're really old. Have you used Wealthsimple Trade? If so, what are your thoughts on it? I do, I have started a Wealthsimple account 
just so I can create content for you guys, so I can give a valid opinion. I do like Wealth Simple. Um, I like that it's free. They, it does seem very beta. They're, they don't allow options. That's why I'm not full on into it, but I like that you can buy crypto. I do like that they're zero commissions. It's amazing. Matt Kuenig. Do you drink alcohol? Sorry if I mispronounced that. If so, what's your favorite go-to drink? If not, what's your favorite non-alcoholic drink? I've actually never tried alcohol. I don't drink it, never tried it. My favorite non-alcoholic drink would be a French press, which is coffee. I'm a coffee snob. I love it. Chris does stuff. Some YouTubers recommend renting versus buying a house. What are your thoughts? That is hilarious. I love, pretty much why I started this channel was um, big YouTubers who have never owned a house saying why renting is better than buying. If you look at, if you buy a house 100% cash, stocks are better and it's better to rent. But where you make money on houses are the leverage factor. So I put 5% down. That means the bank was taking all the risk. I had 95% leverage. It, it's insane. If you buy a house, a million dollar house is 5% down and it goes up 5% a year. So you put 50,000 down and it's going up 50,000 a year, your return's at 100%. That works the opposite way. If it goes down 5%, you're losing 100%. But I'm bullish on real estate in the future. I, I, I can talk to you for hours about renting versus buying. I did make a video talking about the qualitative versus quantitative side, but I don't know. I love people who haven't done the ownership side to give their opinion on it. Moving on, oh, Chris does stuff again. I'm new to investing and have a conservative plan in the long run. As a new investor, I'm considering buying a REIT due to the current price. So let me keep up the great work. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. That's hilarious. That does stress me out. Um, I still don't consider myself a YouTuber. I just started doing this for fun and now it's kind of going places. Let me review your recommendations and your comment on the side and I'll get back to you in person. Matt Welter, big congrats. Thank you. If you could invest in only one stock, what would it be? that, oh God, I will say Tesla because Father Elon would never betray me. All right, P94, hey Bassam, I'm 26 years old. In your opinion, what would be the best strategy to generate the highest passive income as soon as possible? Oh man, the highest passive income as soon as possible. I don't think, I probably should have read these questions beforehand so I can give you a better answer. Let me take that back and think the best, highest passive income as soon as possible. Oh my God, I would say learn how to Ah oh, man, passive income, passive, passive. It would have to be like investing in a stock, a growth stock, I don't know. Can I, can I get back to you? I don't know, I don't know. Brian Jew, Jew, eh? sorry. How did you balance your work life, real estate career, investing journey, and personal life? It was hard to balance. To be honest, in my 20s, my personal life did take a hit. I was focused on having two jobs. I do believe in grinding while you're young so you can enjoy the fruits of, fruits of your labor later on. Um, it was hard to balance. Personal life did take a hit. Johnny Moose, how did you reinvest your profits from a stock position? Should I move them to a safe ETF or buy multiple stocks to diversify? I have a few positions that I've hit 100% returns. It's not real unless I cash out. You're exactly right. That's why some people like dividend stocks because you, you're kind of cashing out by getting, the, by getting the dividends. You have the cash, you can invest in something else. The best way to cash out, you have to sell. You have to sell, there's, there's nothing else you could do. Um, you could sell covered calls against it. There's no other way. You're not, all your gains are unrealized. It's not your money until you sell. Sam Zip. Hey Bassam, I don't know how to trade options. I tried real hard, but it looks like I can't understand it. Can you help? Thank you and good luck. Yes, I can help. Send me a message, send me an email. I'll walk you through it. Um, I will tell you to try to go back and watch some of my beginner videos though. DIY Finance, congrats on 5K, thank you. Anthony McLemore, guys, great YouTuber, just got monetized. She's real nice. Please check him out. Congrats on hitting 5K. Forget the construction noise. We don't care. Setup looks clean. Thank you. I'm still working on the setup. Okay, Evan, in one of your previous videos, you said if you're day trading options and making a thousand trades a year, then I'm sure they would consider it business income. Can you explain a bit more? Yes. Um, there, there's a certain, there's not an exact number that the government would try to tax you on, but they want you to invest in your TFSA to make kind of passive income. But if your business, if you don't have a job and your main income source is trading stocks, like your day trading, that's not the purpose of the account. So you can, it's, it's to help you save for retirement, not to kind of make you skirt the system and live off of it. 
I'll include a link, I'll direct message you, I'll include a link of the five or six different criteria that the government is looking for when they try to say you're day trading or they're going to tax you. Kappa, hey, I'm new to your channel. Which broker do you use? Can you make a video of the platform? I see the setup. Do you play any video games? Um, I do. I started playing Warzone. So I do use Wealth Simple and Quest Trade, Quest Trade mainly. Can you make a video on what platform you use? I do have a how to use Quest Trade video. I will send you a link. If I don't remember, send me a message. But I do use Quest Trade. I do like it. Okay, congratulations, well deserved. I want to grow my passive income through dividends. Do I really need to diversify more portfolio? <laughs> um, yeah, I would diversify, always be diversified. Don't, if you're in Canada, it, it's clear you're in Canada. Um, don't go fully in on banks or all on REITs. Like if that sector takes a hit, you're, you're gonna be in trouble. Go banks, go utilities, go REITs. You know, 33%, it, it's a little diversified. Which is better? I like smart REIT better, SRU. Five minutes or less finance. Guys, check him out. He's great. Congrats on 5K. Thank you. Ryan Chang, financially fashionable. Guys, please check out his account. I really enjoy his, his YouTube content. Okay, your question. How long does it take you to make a video? Planning, scripting, editing. What's your entire gear list to make these? I'll, I'll make a separate video to go over my gear, but planning, scripting, editing, I'll say it takes 10 hours to make a video. The research to make sure everything I'm saying is accurate does take the longest. Filming sometimes uh, like I, I need to edit out some some parts like I'm stumbling over my words right now I'm forgetting sometimes the light goes out. I broke a light recently uh, My battery runs out or the memory card isn't in. I don't know um, ten, 10 hours Hip Tran Do you see yourself doing investment for a living quitting your full-time job? Yes 100% I want to be my own boss somehow anyhow. I do want to quit my full-time job Kara Thompson, what did you study at University College? College. I studied accounting. I became a CPA after, or it was a CA if you're in the US CPA. I studied accounting, and part of that you have to take finance and investing. T Drafting Co. Greetings from Toronto. Hello, I'm in Toronto too. Okay, okay. Would love some more explanation on how you're allocating your capital to each position and your use of margin. How much buying power you're using? Do you have portfolio margin? What is the frame rate and lens type? So my lens type is 1.8, frame rate is 24 frames a second. I'll have to go back and take a look. I watched a YouTube video on how to set up my camera. So how much do you have portfolio margin? Yes, I am using margin. I'll, I'll probably have to message you separately to say how much buying power I'm using, but I'm, I'm using a lot. I'm using a lot. I'll go through it. Kevin Broderick, do you have any tips, tricks, or ideas on how to track record your dividend income to keep things straight come tax season? Um, Kevin, at the end of at the end of every year, every dividend paying company has to tell you what what percentage of your dividend income is interest, capital gains, eligible dividends, non-eligible. There is a slip, there is a, a part of every website if you go to the investor relations section. You'll just have to keep track of it yourself. It is annoying, but once a year at the end, let's say February of the following year, you can just update an Excel spreadsheet and just keep track of your dividends. Muslim, what city in Canada can you get a decent return by renting out condo houses? My only experience is in the GTA. Uh, I can't tell you in Canada. I can only tell you in Toronto. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not the best answer. Momentum, finance, and talk investing. They have two questions. Congrats on the 5K, thank you. Where about in Canada do you live? I live in Toronto. Another question, what do you do other than being a YouTuber? I'm a full-time accountant, I'm a part-time realtor, part-time YouTuber, part-time options, day trader. That's about it. Okay. Next question, I started selling options two months ago, not sure how the options works out. Um, I'll, okay, so I see your questions about margin and I, I need to do some calculations. I'll have to message you directly. I can't go through in this video, sorry. Alex Peroff, personal finance and philosophy. Guys, check him out. He's a great YouTuber, very interesting, very insightful. Okay, first, I like the new setup, although, although it's a little too bright. I know it's a little bright. I'll try to play with the lights, a lot of exterior light. I'll fix it. For my question, how long have you been living in Canada? Do you travel? What was your first experience with investing? 
I've been in Canada. I was, I was actually born in the US, but I've been in Canada my whole life, so 30 years. Do you travel? Yes, I love traveling. Um, I like to go for places that for a long period of time. So when I went to Spain, I went for three weeks, Thailand, three weeks, Australia, four weeks. I like to see as much of the country as I can. Obviously, Australia is very big. I wasn't able to see all of it, but I saw the, hold on, never eat shredded wheat. I saw the East Coast of Australia. What was your first experience with investing? Right when the financial crisis happened, my finance professor told us all to open an account and buy Google. Google was $750, ended up tanking to around 200 or 220. I didn't have any money, but he, I, I started an account because of him and I started investing in oil ETFs because oil shot up. My first investment was Smart Centers. Smart REIT, they, they paid like a good dividend, so I was interested. Eric T, question, going more in depth about taxation related to selling premiums for Canadian, the process of filling profits as capital gains, filing profits as capital gains. I will go through this. I'll kind of have to message you separately on, on this, but pretty much earning premium on your option income is a capital gain. Just file it as a capital gain unless you do it daily as part of your job. That will be business income. But if you make $100 in premium, 50% is tax free. Okay, last question. Bruin Punch. Hey Bass, I'm not sure if this is covered in another video, but my question would be your education background and which industry position you work in and what you think of the industry position. My educational background is accounting. I started in university. I got a post-grad, I guess, designation. Uh, being a CPA it took me three years to get. That's the minimum amount of time. Which industry do you work in? I work in real estate side of accounting. So I work at a commercial real estate company and I am an accountant in their financial reporting department. What do you think of the industry position? Um, I, do like, I do like accounting. It does have a golden handcuffs thing. Um, it kind of pays too well to quit and start something new. That's the, the position I'm in right now. If I wanted to quit and start trading full time, I'd have to replicate, you know, being a, let's say manager level accountant, I'll have to replicate that. It is kind of hard letting go of the full-time job and the security and the benefits that come with that to go full-time trading. But I do like accounting. I do think it's evergreen and it does transfer. Like I can go to the US and do it. I can go to the UK. But yeah, that's that's my question. Um, okay, guys, that took, you know, that, that was a little longer than I than I expected. I'm sorry if I wasn't looking at the camera too much. I was kind of reading as we go. But thank you for watching my 5,000 special. I'll probably do another one when I hit 10,000, maybe 15. Ask any questions you have. If you have any questions about trading or anything, send it across. I hope the volume is good. The sound of the lighting is good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for asking the questions.